Okay, this uh, short video here is just to tell you some of the things that you are going to need to know if you want to install a mini PCI Express wireless card inside of an HP Compaq Elite Ultra Slim desktop. This is the 8200 model with the upgraded Radeon 512 meg video card. So as you can see, it will accept either the half height or full height cards. However, you have to be careful. If you choose a full height card, you have to make sure that it is flat on the bottom, like this Intel card here. Uh, I would normally be using this card, but for some reason MX Linux does not have drivers for the 3945 chipset, which I find very strange, but that's just the way it is. I tried using this Broadcom card, but the Broadcom card has a chip on the bottom that prevents it from sitting flush. That chip ends up resting on the first set of screw posts, and it will elevate the card to such a degree that the hard drive and DVD drive bracket will not go back into the machine. So if you choose a full height card, make sure that it is flat on the bottom. The most important thing you need to know about these HPs is that they decided to use a different type of screw. They do not use the standard M2 or M2.0 screws. They use a 1.6. Nobody knows why. HP doesn't even know why. HP doesn't even know what type of screw this was. It took another HP owner going to some hardware specialist to find what type of screw it was. Uh, and of course there is no information in any of the HP literature about what type of screw it is. They just went with it and didn't tell anybody. So, there it is. I had to order these screws on eBay. Um, Monster Bolts I think was the username and you can see he has a website there, monsterbolts.com. Uh, if you read the one uh, support thread on HP's site concerning this, uh, then you read about how the screw heads that that guy at the time got were too small to secure the card because of the size of the hole. However, uh, these particular screws I got, I got in October of 2019, those screw heads are just big enough to keep the card down. Um, they don't pop through. So you can see they're working. Now I got the three millimeter length. These are the three millimeter. Um, this screw here is a standard M2. I believe it's in a two millimeter length. Uh, these will not work. So uh, the three, three millimeter, the card doesn't sit completely flush. There's a little bit of give. Not much, but it's not enough to cause any problems, so I'm just leaving it where it is. So the other thing I had to do was I had to order uh, aftermarket antenna that would normally be threaded through a laptop bezel. Um, I got these on eBay as well. They're about 7 or $8 for the set. So I had tested running these in different parts of the case, and I had them initially running around here and along this edge. And it does work. However, the metal case prevents the wireless signal from coming through. Um, you lose about 25% strength, uh, maybe 30% if it's up against something like this. So I tried them coiled up in the back. There's no moving parts back here, so nothing to get in the way. Because there is a vent here, as you can see. And they work pretty well. Uh, I got the strength back up to about 75 to 80% steadily. Uh, however, if you need to reach a router that is in another room, another part of the house, or a larger distance, then you want to get these antenna ends outside of the case, and there is a way to do that without hurting them or cutting anything or doing want to get the antenna on the outside. There is a little notch here. You can lay these in and have I'm just going to have these hanging outside in the case that I need to have them have more signal strength. Uh, I can't do this 
with one hand. I can't put the lid back on while still keeping these cables inside this little notch. Uh, you can spread them apart. You could do one of them here and one of them here. Either way, uh, when you put the lid back on, it does bend the cable a little bit um, so that the back edge of the lid has to sit flush, but it does not hurt the cable. It doesn't bend it to an angle that's detrimental to it. I've already tested it once and it's fine. So if you want to do that, you can just leave it hanging out like a dongle, or you could pull these out even further, pull the adhesive strips off, and secure it to sides of the case somewhere, outside here, or one back here, or whatever you wanted to do. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pull it out when I need it. But otherwise, if I'm in the same room as the router or not too far away, I can just leave them loose in there. No harm, no foul. So that's what you need to know. Um, if you have any questions, post them. Otherwise, good luck. Okay, this is what it looks like having the cables kind of just hanging outside the back. I have them spread apart one to each notch, like I showed before. And there is enough space here for these cables to move. Lid is tight. So you're not pinching the cables. Uh, you're not doing any damage to them by having them like this. Uh, these cables are strong. They're tough. They have a small amount of malleability to them. So I'm going to pull this lid off here and you'll see how I formed them, I shaped them just enough so that they lay in those notches and I didn't even have to secure them. And there you go. Of course the camera is going to go out of focus. So, if you need to pull them back in, or in my case, I, I will be doing that, uh, just pull it back in, coil it up in this area, and they'll stay out of the way, and they'll still work uh, to a decent degree, halfway decent. Not great, though. And there you go. Thanks for watching.